I just start with them? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the death penalty. And I'm going to start off with doing some background on it. The death penalty is also widely known as capital punishment, and it consists of an authorized killing of someone, and it's used for the punishment of a crime, most likely murder in the, most cases. And in America, the death penalty dates back to 1608. Um, a guy named George Kendall from Virginia, Virginia was put to death for treason, for treason because he was thought to have a plan to be, betray Britain to Spain. And now it's become less common, but capital punishment is still legal in 32 of 50 states. And um, there are, my main claim is that the death penalty is an, an effective, ineffective process to criminal punishment in the United States. Um, the first reason being that it's too costly and the second reason being that it doesn't alter the number of murders. And my third reason is that the process itself is inconsistent. So for my first um, supporting claim, the death penalty is too costly. The first thing is um, it costs more to, def to defend a person in court. So a study done by Kansas Judicial Council found that the defense cost for the death penalty was averaged about 395,762 per case compared to 98,963 per case. So the costs incurred by the trial court showed a similar disparity. There's just a huge difference and it's way more costly. And also lifetime costs, um, there's a lot of lifetime costs to taxpayers. Uh, the Dallas Morning News said that in Texas, a death penalty case costs taxpayers on average 2.3 million, which is about three times um, the cost of imprisoning someone in a jail cell for up to like 40 years. And the Miami Herald newspaper also stated in Florida, each execution is costing the state $3.2 million. And um, lastly for that point, the, cost high, are, the costs are higher than life with no parole. Um, in a study done by the California Commission and the Fair Administration of Justice, found that the pursuit of execution adds millions at each phase of the process, from trial to appeal and hobbyist proceedings. For example, a death penalty trial cost um, counties at least 1.1 million more than a conventional murder trial. And the state spends at least an additional 117 million a year on capital punishment and housing inmates. Um, they need more security and everything, so it's just a lot more money. Um, my second supporting claim is that the death penalty doesn't reduce the murder rates. Uh, the New York Times analyzed some data from the FBI about the homicide rates in the U.S. and they found that um, the line is symmetrical um, with the states that have the death penalty and who don't have it, so there is really no difference. And also, um, a number of those who are sentenced to death are actually innocent. Um, I found um, on a study by the Proceedings of National Academy of Science, who, which they do like, studies on social sciences and things, they found that 4.1% of the people put to death like throughout the whole time that they started this in 1608, about 4.1 of them were actually innocent, which in any way that you look at it, that's not good. I mean, that's someone's live and they're innocent. So for my last supporting claim, the execution process is inconsistent. The main drug used for lethal injection is um, sodium thiopental, and it's become like a, it's been limited, and there's a, a shortage on it. So um, states like California, Arizona, and Nebraska have been getting as much of the drug as they can from suppliers in, in, in England and India, but the drugs aren't being reviewed properly, so people, well, people um, are saying that there's not a quality check on it, so it could produce like, the person who's um, being executed could fill it, um, which they're not supposed to when using those drugs. So. Overall, to conclude, the death penalty is an ineffective process to criminal punishment in the U.S. because it's too costly and it doesn't alter the murder rates and it's inconsistent due to the shortage on this drug that's mainly used for it.
All right, Brittany, the uh, proposition is labeled clearly. There's a good preview of the structure. Uh, as you get to each of those points, you signpost them pretty clearly. Uh, sometimes the transitions need to be a little bit smoother. Uh, I think the development on each point needs to also be uh, in a little bit greater depth. Uh, the cost issue is the one that you had the best evidence on that most completely explains uh, where, uh, inf where money is being spent and uh, you know, gives us some comparative sorts of data on those points. I think that uh, there, uh, there needs to be a demonstration, for instance, that there are cost savings in those places that don't have the death penalty. Uh, for example, a capital crime may be the reason that the cost for prosecuting it so much is because it is a capital crime and because the investigation has to be different. I don't know. Um, or maybe it's the appellate process that's going on there. And if there aren't going to be any appeals after we get rid of the death penalty, then that would need to be explained also. On the second point, when you're talking about whether or not it's effective, your state-by-state -state comparison was not very clear, although it's a supposedly a statistical comparison. I think you're paraphrasing what's being said there, and it would be better to quote directly. Uh, the issue of whether or not innocent people are executed seems to me like it's its own point rather than um, a subset of that particular argument on whether or not the death penalty deters crime. So maybe that would be a third point uh, for you to have here, or you know, a fourth point to add with the uh, the three points that you started with. Um, it it uh, gets mentioned only in passing, and uh, it seems like it's a pretty important issue. So it could probably be developed a lot more. The uh, um, Argu the third argument about the uh, the drugs that are being used um, this this is a it's interesting information although I'm not exactly sure that uh, the problem with the drugs is that they don't work or that they are painful. I think there are some other issues with the process. And most of those, of course, are legal issues. And I think you need to explain uh, that there have been legal challenges. Basically, the uh, use of uh, lethal injection as an alternative has created a whole b a new variety of uh, uh, appeals outlets for people who have been convicted of capital crimes to argue against the death penalty on um, and that seems to be the main source of the problem as opposed to whether or not the drugs are effective. Now, you did say that there was a shortage of one particular drug, and I think we need some better documentation on that. Uh, it's an, Like I said, there's a potential argument here, but it needs to be developed a lot more. Um, the uh, evidence is okay as far as it goes. I think it could be stronger on each of those points. And uh, the presentation, I think you need clear transitions, like I said, between the points, and sometimes the delivery is is a little mechanical, but uh, it was clear what the argument was. All right, thank you.